In this video, we're going to take a look at how we could get the output to look exactly the way it is on the screen. So this is going to require us to use the format function, possibly SCP equals, and a little bit of math. So let's first take a look at the output. This is what we want to have when we run our program. So notice how we have a introduction statement that takes up two lines. We have a, a blank space. We have four lines of input asking uh, for the user to type in the minutes. We have another space, and then we have the total number of minutes as our output, and we have each portion of time broken down and displayed as a percent. And also notice how the percent symbol is directly to the right of the output. So the first thing, if you remember, I had the introduction statement. So to get that to print out on both lines, one option is to print half of the sentence on line four and also print the second half on line five. It's not the only option, but it is an option. Moving on to the four lines of input, I asked for the number of minutes to watch slideshows, videos, meetings, and questions. And if you remember from the input, I did allow decimal places to be uh, accepted. So to accept decimals as input, I need to have a float. Remember that the float is going to convert whatever is the argument, which in this case is everything inside the parentheses. It's going to convert that to a float um, when our user types that in. Okay, so we have those four lines. Moving on to the next section, I'm going to calculate the total minutes based upon what the user just typed in. So I'm going to calculate my total minutes, and I'll be able to print that out at a later time. Moving on to the next section, I need to calculate a percentage of the minutes spent in every category. Now keep in mind that when I do division, it's going to give me a decimal uh, format. So for example, if I do 10 divided by 100, I'm going to get 0.1. I do not want to print that 0.1 out for my user to see. So I need to add this second portion of math where I convert my decimal results to the percent looking uh, format that most people are used to seeing. And I do that by multiplying by 100. Now my final section, again part of the IPO, is my output section. And this is where I could print out everything I need to print out. So there's my total minutes on my first line. And I'm printing out my converted percent. I'm printing out my converted percent with the watching videos and all the way through the rest of my values. So I'm using the format function to convert each one of these values. And I'm going to convert those to one decimal place. So the format function has two arguments, what I want to convert and the specifier, how do I want to convert it? So the part that I just highlighted is telling Python to convert my number value to only have one decimal place, and the F stands for float, so it is a float. And I'm going to follow that with the percent symbol. Now, in order to get the percent symbol directly to the right of my number value, I'm going to have to eliminate all the default spacing in my print function by using the SCP separator command. So we'll run this one more time. And if you take a look at the left side of the screen, that is my source code. And on the right side is the output. This portion of the output as the result of lines four and five I'm getting my input on lines 8 through 11. My math is being calculated, but you do not see the calculations actually on the screen in the shell. But I do have my output displayed on the screen as a result of lines 30 through 34. And there is my focus analyzer program. Until next time.